Welcome back guys. So this is question 36 and today we are going to talk about the part C of it. Okay. So in part C we have four variables and these are A, B, C, D. Okay. So therefore let me choose the color, the color black. So the domain of it is, domain for it is what? A, B, C, D. Okay. So after it, in order to find the sum of products here, SOPs here, what we will have to do? We have to identify all the terms for the A, B, C, D for which the output is 1. Okay. So let me choose this blue for it. And the first term here is 1. And this one is also 1. You can see that the output for those uh, two terms are 1 here. Similarly, this one, this one, this okay this this okay so these are one two three four five six seven terms for which the output is what output is one so let me write them here so these are zero 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 zero, zero one okay uh, zero zero one one similarly zero one zero one okay so 0 1 1 0 and the term here is 1 double 0 1 and the last term is 1 1 0 0 okay so these are the terms for which we have to find the sum of products and these are the terms for which we have to find the product of the domain variables and it should give me the product of those terms should give me one okay so therefore what we will have to do we have to complement it complement it complement and complement so therefore what we will get here so let me write it with this green color so i will get a prime b prime c prime and d prime okay similarly for the second term here what we will have to do we will have to complement the first three because these are the zeros and when these will be complemented i will get one so all ones will be multiplied together and i will also get one so therefore a prime b prime c prime d okay this one here is a complement b complement c d because you can see that c and d are already ones while a and b are zeros uh, here in this uh, what we will have to do we have to complement this a while b is already one similarly c complement and the last term d okay this term here first and the last terms are zero so therefore a prime b c d prime and this term first and last terms are 1 while all others are 0 so b prime c prime and d and the last term is a b which are 1s and the last two terms which are 0 so i have to complement them as well so these are complemented okay so what we have to do in order to find the sum of products what we will have to do we have to sum them together okay well i have to sum all these products together so what i will get the output of it will be a prime b prime c prime d prime plus a prime b prime c prime and d plus a prime b prime c d okay and here uh this one a prime b c prime d okay and plus a prime b c d prime plus a b prime c prime d and the last term here is a b c prime d prime okay so what is this this is the sum of product from my terms and this is the solution for the sum of product what we have okay so this is the answer of for part c here in order to find the product of uh, the sums what what we will have to do we will have to identify all the terms for which the output is zero so these are here 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 
here here all the remaining terms are zeros and for it i have to write the sum for which the output should be what zero as we have done in our previous questions okay so i think it's enough uh, in which we have found the sum of product and for part d you can also solve it for by using the same procedure which we have followed here so i think it's enough and if you have any question uh, regarding the procedure which we have followed here you can ask me in the comment box till then take care of yourself and uh, i will see you in the next video See you.